Good morning. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Today is Monday, August 16th, and this is your opening bell market update. U.S. stock futures are trading lower today ahead of manufacturing data from the New York region and falling lower than expected second quarter growth from Japan. The New York Fed's Empire State Index for August is due out as well as the NAHB Housing Market Index. Japan's gross domestic product rose at an annualized pace of 0.4 percent in the April to June quarter, weaker than the 2.4 percent growth expected. In corporate news, Lowe's Companies Incorporated posted its second quarter earnings before the opening bell this Monday morning, reporting $832 million, or 58 cents per share, up from the year-ago period's earnings of $759 million, or 51 cents per share. Looking at how the markets are trading this morning, the Dow Jones Industrial Average Futures are trading 37 points below fair value, the S&P 500 trading 4.6 points below fair value, and the Nasdaq Composite Futures trading three and a quarter points below fair value. Now for more perspective on what's happening in the markets today, let's turn it to Andy Zamfotis from Lagarde Capital. Good morning, Andy. Hi. Well, it's been a relatively quiet morning so far. Uh, we have futures down a little bit, Europe's down fractionally. Investors are going to look to see if the market can uh, rebound after last week's 3% decline. We are in the middle of August, so it could be tough as a lot of investors and traders just aren't at their desks these last few weeks. Uh, this week in the earnings spotlight, we have a lot of the nation's retailers set to report. We start today with Lowe's, and later in the week we're going to get Walmart, Home Depot, and a lot of other names, so keep an eye on that sector. Uh, also set to report today is the food retailer uh, and distributor Cisco. The street's looking for 58 cents. That's up from 53 cents in the year ago period. Also, we've had a little bit of M&A activity this morning. Dell announced it was going to acquire three par for $18 a share. So keep an eye on that sector as well. Right now, the S&P is still below the 30 and 50 day moving averages. We talked about this all last week. You know, the longer we stay below there, uh, the longer uh, investors and traders get impatient and we risk uh, see, we're rolling over and retesting lower levels. Goldman was out with a note on Friday saying that they see this head and shoulders pattern developing. They're looking for a retest at the bottom of the recent range of 1,000 and 1040 in the S&P. Given the fact we haven't seen much of a bid in the market lately, we certainly can't rule out that scenario. Uh, so uh, keep an eye on these uh, very key levels. And also uh, this morning we do get Empire Manufacturing, so that could set the tone for uh, early morning trade. Thank you, Andy. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. More news and market analysis. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Trade the Trend. Also visit our website, tradethetrend.com, for more headlines.